Look, I love using Google software for a lot of different things, but one thing I really don't like using is Google Drive. I've been using Dropbox for as long as I can remember, and in this video, I'll be telling you exactly why I love Dropbox over Google Drive. Hi there, Vaigriji Ka Khalsa, Vaigriji Ki Fateh. My name is Manith Paul Singh. On this channel, we talk about tech and how to use it to get things done. Dropbox is one of those tools that lets me get so much more done in so little time. Now, it doesn't matter if you're a student or a professional working or a content creator like myself, having some sort of cloud platform to hold all your files and easily be able to share them and collaborate is very, very handy. And in this video, I'm gonna be talking about Dropbox and why I personally feel this is the platform of choice for content creators and anyone who stores a lot of files on their computer. Now, one quick disclaimer, I still use Google Docs for the docs, the sheets, and the PowerPoint features of Google Docs. I don't think anyone else can compete with that, but when it comes to straight up storing files, Dropbox is the best in my opinion. Let's dive into it. The first feature I want to talk about in Dropbox is the most important thing I use Dropbox for, and that's the copy link functionality. Google Drive also has this, but I do feel Dropbox does it better. All you have to do here is go to a project folder. So this is my YouTube project for 2021, every YouTube video I've made. Let me go into the MX Master review video I made, and I have this footage folder here. What I normally do is I send the footage to my editor and he edits all the videos and the easiest way for me to do that is sending it through Dropbox. All I have to do is right click, press the copy Dropbox link button, it'll automatically copy a link to my clipboard and now if I go to Google Chrome or any other web browser and just paste that in, it's gonna open up the page for someone to download all the files in the folder I just copied. Now this is cool, but let's take this one step further. If you have someone else using Dropbox on your team, you can actually collaborate on a folder together. So say my editor used Dropbox as well. Instead of pressing the copy link button, I can press the share button right over here and I can add them as a collaborator. Again, very similar to Google Drive where you have multiple Gmail users connected to one Google Drive folder and you can just add add files together and collaborate. This has the same exact functionality. Now these next few features of Dropbox are what I personally feel take it one step above Google Drive. And the first thing I wanna talk about here is the request files button. Let me go back to my example of having a video editor work with me on editing my videos. And then now the time has come, they finish editing and I wanna request the final file from them. Rather than having them send me a large attachment or something like that, I can go in my project folder, I can go to the final package in the final folder where I want the video file to live long term, I can click on that folder and hit the request files button. And what's going to happen here, it's going to open up my Dropbox web page and now I'll have the ability to title the request and I'm just going to call this test request and I'm going to hit create. And now we have a link. I'm going to copy the link. I'm going to open up an incognito window and paste it in here. And you'll see now the person who gets this link can easily add a file and send me a file through the request file feature. Once the link opens up, you can clearly see here the person on the other end can just upload a file directly into my Dropbox. It makes it so much easier for the other person. They don't have to worry about attaching a large attachment to an email or finding a way to upload it to their own Google Drive and then sending a link to me. Nothing like that. It's a lifesaver when it comes to large files. All I have to do is send them the link and they upload directly into my Dropbox. They don't have to worry about a thing. It's just so much easier for everybody involved. I also use this feature for my podcast. After I finish recording a podcast episode, I have the interviewee upload their audio file into the Dropbox link that I send them like this. Again, just makes things so much easier. The next feature I wanna talk about is the rewind feature. Rewind is a very handy feature in case you have a catastrophic issue come up with your computer, say your files get all messed up, and you wanna rewind back to a previous version of your file. You can do that by pressing one button. All I have to do is go to a folder, say this MX Master project went all out of whack, and I have to go back by a week. I can just right click over here, hit the rewind button, and then it'll let me choose a day in from history. I can just pick one, it'll rewind back to that state. I wouldn't really be using this as a version history or very often. I would only use this if something happened to my computer and something didn't save correctly. I would use this rewind button to revert back to a previous state. The last feature I want to talk about is the smart sync feature. This feature was life changing when I found out about it. If you're on a laptop or any computer with limited hard drive space, 
This feature will make your life so much easier. You'll see here in my project folder, there's some projects here with green check marks, there's some with white clouds. That is a smart sync feature in action. The green check marks represent local files on my computer. Once something is downloaded to my computer, it's actually checked off with the green check mark. But the white cloud icon represents the file is only in the cloud and not saved to my computer. This is a good thing because I can still see the file names and the whole folder structure in my finder over here, but they're not taking up any space on my computer. So I have all these old projects sitting here on my computer, not taking up any space, they're only being stored on the Dropbox cloud, but I can see them over here and say I go back to an old project and there's something I want to download like this last file from the YouTube video I made about working from anywhere. I can just right click on this and press the local button under Smart Sync and that will download that one file from the Dropbox cloud to my computer. Features like this are very, very helpful if you have a large media library of any kind, whether it's photos, videos, movies, any kind of large files that you wanna have available to you but not taking up space on your computer. This is a very quick way of doing that. Google Drive does have a version of this, but it's not as easy to use in my opinion compared to Dropbox. Now Dropbox makes a bunch of other features that I haven't talked about in this video, but these are the ones I use every single day. If you found this video useful, check out my other video about keyboard shortcuts on the Mac. Along with Dropbox, keyboard shortcuts make my life a lot easier. Link for that on the screen right now. Thank you so much for watching.